Hello everyone and welcome to Horrors World where we are taking a look at the newest mod map, La Petite West, or in English, The Little West. This is a new mod map set in France by Tom Agri. Right now it's only available for PC and Macintosh and to get started we're just doing a little bit of a flyover just so you can see exactly what this map has to offer. Give you a little bit of a feel for the landscape if you like flat fields well this is going to be the map for you a little bit of rolling terrain but for the most part it's fairly flat and we'll just come right over here into our main farm area our main starting farm i guess i should say and we'll just come in for a landing right here and get this party started so this is the main starting area, but let's take a look at our menus first and see exactly what we have, well, what this map has to offer. Now this is a vanilla map, no new crops, no new animals, standard crops and animals from the vanilla game. But it does have many, many fields, and the fields are actually reasonably priced, so why don't we just take a look at those to get started. Now... You can see in new farmer mode, you'll start with this main farm area here. You'll have field 19, field 17, field 23, and field 46. Now 19 and 46 are set up as cattle pastures. There's an interesting little, uh, little bit of uh, something that goes on there. I'll show you when we get over there. But it's kind of nifty, and I don't think I've ever seen it anywhere before. It probably is, but I'm not going to say. I've looked at every map in Farming Simulator. So anyway, we'll take a look at that later. As far as fields go, the prices are very, very good. They run from, let's just do this, about 37000 This was the smallest I could find, up to 214000 So they're not overly pricey. In fact, they're very, very favorable for you, the farmer. So, yeah, fields are in great shape. One other thing to look at in the menu, we've only got four cell points. We've got the cooperative, cooperative agricole, la voisine, the laterie, and the sawmill. I'm sure I'm butchering these names horribly, but you get the gist of it. And as you can see, nothing unusual here. Everything is pretty standard straight across the board no cell points for slurry or digestate and this map does not have a biogas plant so if you want a biogas plant you're going to have to put that in yourself just something to keep in mind now the map does offer contracts these are the starting contracts i'm not sure how much of the, these will increase but there are 55 fields that could potentially have contracts on them so something else to keep in mind now on your main starting farm you are going to start with a couple of bunker silos and the map maker appears to have included cattle as a as a big focus on this map a lot of cattle functionality here we've got a nice big storage shed and we've got our manure pit right here this is a starting cattle pasture right here that's attached to the cattle barn um, and your animal dialogue box is right here. So when you want to buy your cows, you would just purchase them at this or deliver them to this gate right here. The water point for the cattle in this pasture is right here and you can set it up with uh, the animal pen extension mod. That's what these valves are for if you're not familiar with them these can be placed so that you can just turn a valve and fill up your animal water now this is a nice cattle barn actually it's uh very well put together i like it one thing that i discovered that's a little bit hard to figure out if you don't know what's going on is your feed fill point is right here inside the barn it's not marked it's not made definitive so you would just bring, pull your tractor in, tip it right in about here, and that's where you would feed your cattle. There are working doors and light switches all around. This 
this cattle barn is exceptionally well lit and a nice little addition of a few calves sitting out here now these are just for show they do not play a part in your farm so with that said other things we have access to on the farm well on our starting farm anyway and again we've got lots of working doors nice milking parlor here again just for show but your milk collection point is just outside the milking parlor plenty of storage we've got a nice big storage area right here and we're going to go over equipment here in just a second and more storage around on this side and you have a shop and you can actually uh, fuel your vehicles here too so that's nice that's nice functionality now as far as starting equipment goes in new farmer that's not the menu I want I want this menu right here in our garage we have got a small Massey Ferguson 105 horsepower 5610 a New Holland another small tractor so we start with two small tractors we've got the small New Holland TX32 AgriLiner trailer standard uh, harvester header plow subsoiler cultivator power harrow planter or a cedar planter now one thing that's nice starting with is this big 36 meter sprayer and i get the feeling that the map maker knew that fertilizer contracts might be a big deal you can make good money with fertilizer contracts generally speaking and having a big sprayer like this would really help out with that um, there's also a spreader for fertilizer yes we have a forage mixer so you can mix your total mix ra mixed ration for your cattle in this a liquid transport trailer and all the standard all the standard accoutrement for attaching equipment to your tractor and there is a bale shredder here for straw so you can throw some straw in with your cattle which we all know we need at this point if you're not sure about how to take care of cattle be sure to check out my video on cows anyway we do have a header trailer we've got a couple of weights and we own a farmhouse now what's interesting about the farmhouse is it's nowhere to be seen where oh where could our farmhouse be well if we take a look at our map the farmhouse is here with the chicken coop so our farmhouse is here and this is our main pasture main cattle farm and then our fields are spread out throughout the map so there's going to be a bit of travel if you start a new farmer or if you sell off your fields and buy something closer totally up to you but Let's just bop over to that. Yeah, this is a good place any. So here's your main farmhouse. There is a sleep trigger right here at the door. You cannot go inside. Just not a possibility. But it does come with a small chicken coop. A large chicken coop. <laughs> you could you can buy four hundred chickens. And if we just buy a few chickens, we can see they just wander around the yard here. This would be your food trough. This would be your egg collection point. And those are very happy chickens. Now, another starting area that you do not currently own, but is available to you, and it looks very similar to our cattle farm, is this area right here. And what's interesting is this is where your main silo is at. And if we look back here, right now we have no capacity. So there's no starting silo with this. With this, In New Farmer, you do not start with a silo. However, if we go in, look at our lands. We want to buy this plot. It's only 48944 So that's not too bad. And let's just go ahead and buy that up. And now that we own it, we have 100,000 liters of capacity. Probably going to be cheaper than trying to put in your own silo at the other farm. And it gives you access to 
a pig pen. We've got a slurry lagoon here. We've got a place for manure. This would be our animal. Dialogue right here. Throw some pigs in there just for the heck of it. And they're just going to wander around this big old pig pen. Water fill point right here. And then a nice little piggy palace with a food tip in right about here. And this one is actually marked, so you can see that one. Again, we've got working lights. There we go. So yeah. So that would be a nice addition. Plus it gives you a lot more storage space. And what else does this have to offer on the other side? Anything? Well, there's another shop here. So if you want to play with a friend, you could uh, you could load up this map. But yeah, it looks very similar to the starting farm. But it does give you a silo that you didn't have previously. So that's a pretty nice feature. Now the next thing I want to take a quick look at is I wanted to go to... Let's just go to this southern cattle pasture. Now we already own this. And if you go in, you can see we've got a food trough, we've got a water trough all ready to go. You would bring your cattle down to this gate right here and move them into a pasture. But what's interesting about this is you've got this marker. And you can just turn this into a standard field by clicking this marker and that gets rid of the food trough and the water trough. Now it's just a field. Now. If you're using the animal pen extension mod, now you've got these valves sitting here, which do not disappear. So I guess that's going to be up to you whether you use it or not. But I do like the fact that you can just turn this into a field and get this stuff out of your way. So that's a nice little feature. Now, the next thing we're going to do is a bit of a drive around. And in order to do that, well, I need a vehicle. <laughs> we we could have just traveled around in the in the New Holland, I guess. Or the uh, yeah the uh, harvester, that would have been interesting. Let's get rid of this weight. I don't want to be towing it around. So with that said, let's take a look at the scenery offered in the Petite West. Now, it is a very pretty map. It does, I, I feel like it, and again, I have never been, but I feel like it captures the uh, the French countryside quite nicely. I do like the power lines. No power lines that I saw running through fields or anything. Well, let's head up to the north. We can take this road here. Swing around. Oh, I didn't even take out the sign now. Fences do have collisions. I always test this just because, you know, in these narrow, narrow, narrow lanes on European maps, a lot of times we've got hedgerows, but in this case, it looks like we're mostly going to have fences. So getting your, any big equipment around is going to be a real challenge. Now, right here up on the right, we've got our class class dealership, where of course you can purchase equipment and get it repaired just like any other shop in the game you know sometimes camera collision would almost be nice but you know this looks pretty decent the roads are well laid out can't complain about the scenery that's for sure I do like this the science right here it would be you know it'd be nice actually if at some point we connected up maps so that you just end up uh, you know you drive off the edge of one map and now you're into the next town whatever that would be kinda cool but probably not today so headed west along the main road this is gonna bring us up to that pig starting farm we were just looking at a little bit ago And we'll head on down south from here.
Now, one thing that I will note, there is no forestry built into this map. However, there is a wood chip sell point. That's the only thing. there. You can sell wood chips, which is kind of interesting. We are coming up on our wood chip sell point right now. In fact, we're coming up on two sell points. These homes right here. If you want to sell wood chips, you bring them back to this wood pile right here and tip them in. You might actually be able to sell a little bit of lumber here too, but I know for a fact that it will take wood chips. And then this house next door is buying something. What are they buying? I believe they're probably buying eggs. Yes. If we look at our map, we can see la voisine or however that's pronounced and yes they were buying the eggs so if you want to sell eggs you want to sell wood or wood chips these two homes which i found kind of interesting it's uh it's a little bit of a different take and i kind of like that so you know anything that switches up now again this is a, a pretty straight vanilla map and it's relatively flat but it does have some interesting things on it. Just just little things that change up the game enough to uh, maybe keep your gameplay a little more interesting. And down here we've got our animal dealer. And another one of our sell points. Now if you were buying animals, you would go next door. Right here would be the tip in. And this is our lottery, lottery. And what are they purchasing down here? Milk. Ah, so this must be the dairy. Very good. Okay, so that would be the dairy. Purchase your animals right next door over there. And I think you're going to be buying cows. Maybe pigs. But this map definitely favors cows. Traffic is driving on the left for some reason. Oh no, there's a dirt road back there. We always have to take the dirt roads. Always. Because that's where the real scenery is, right? Right. Not exactly a smooth dirt road. A dirt road kind of uh, reminiscent of Holmokra. <laughs> yeah, you're uh, you're not going to travel fast down this dirt road, but it, it does provide some nice scenery. Now, I said there's no forestry on this map, and there's I mean there's not any forested areas where you could go in and harvest. But there are an awful lot of trees around that you could cut out, chip up, or chop up, and just sell them off. All right, I got to get off this road. This is killing me. I love traveling back roads, but not when they're like this. Maybe if I drive the edge, then I'll just crash into a tree, but... That's got to be better than this. And if you haven't figured it out yet, which of course you have, because you're brilliant people, this is a small map, standard size. Wow, glad to be off that road. And we'll just jog down here and see. And the, uh, the only thing down here is a fuel fill point. Looks like some storage area. You could probably utilize this as another starting farm if you really wanted to. Are these doors even open? 
Yep, they sure do. So here's a shop. Yeah, you could uh, you could buy this up and use it as a starting farm also. I will say it is a it is a good looking map. I do like it. I think it's um, it's been well made. There's some good attention to detail on it. Is there anything truly stand outish about it other than it allows us the opportunity to visit France? No, but the map maker has done a very good job of paying attention to detail, and that's one of the, you know that's kind of one of my key factors when it comes to maps is is there anything that obviously kind of I don't know what I would call breaks the uh, um, suspension of disbelief is there anything that that uh, says oh I can't lose myself in this map because I see this and it, it's not real enough and uh, whatever but no, everything is, is well placed, well made. And one last little thing we've got on our starting farm. We've got this pond. There's a pump here and you can use this as a water fill point. So you don't even need to put in a water fill point. You just come down here, bring your water trailer. Fill up with water whenever you need. And that's always a nice function too. So, I think that's going to be our look at La Petite West. I hope you've enjoyed this map tour. Found it informational at the very least. If you have, do me a favor. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And until next time, take care.